And every year, the Jesse Owens Jog gets people out for a fun run and walk while focusing on African American health and wellness. And this year, it is back. That is why Adam King joining us now to explain. Adam. Yeah, guys, it's the first Jesse Owens Jog since 2019. And with its return, the Jog is hoping to make this October's race bigger than ever. <laughs> The cheers have been missing for nearly a thousand days. We're really so happy we can return to Columbus to an amazing race. The Jesse Owens Jog is an event founded on inclusivity, and now it's striving to make the crowd at the starting line even bigger. Some of the participants would come to me and would kind of wonder, you know, hey, can we grow this? Can we get more people? And they weren't just talking about African-American. They, they were kind of thinking, oh, we should, you know, open it more to the community. And in growing, the J.O. Jog is now the Jesse Owens 5K and One Mile Family Run in hopes of bringing more of the community together, a point Owens' daughter Marlene says is a staple of his legacy. The One Mile and the 5K um, embraces his values and encourages people to do the best that they can and it's kind of something for everyone. Good job, ladies. Good job. Go on. Just four miles away from where the race will finish stands a statue of Owens, a symbol of what they hope to bring to North Bank Park in October. I think my father would have been very happy to know that his name is attached to something <clears throat> that is reaching the community um, and the community at large. Registration for that is already underway. You can find information on how to register at 10tv.com.